Let's explore another report, especially for Kanban team from Jira. I go into the report section and I'm picking up a report called average age report. The average age report, as described in this particular description, shows the average age of unresolved issues for a given filter. Seems to be a simple report. So click here. As with the other generic reports, you can select the time period. You can see these things on a weekly basis, hourly basis, monthly basis. We are going with the daily option here. The essential thing is applying the filter. If we don't apply the right filter, we may end up seeing a lot of information which may, may not make much sense to you. So make sure either you are selecting a project or you are selecting your own specific filter. By clicking here, as with the other reports, you can find out your respective filters. I have created one filter for me, which talks about issues created by me. So it's a simple filter criteria. The logged in user create is, is a creator. So I selected that particular filter and I click next and it shows the bar chart, simple bar chart. So it shows the average number of days issues has been resolved for a given uh, day over a past 30 days. Now 30 days because we have selected. Here you see the days. So since the issue is unresolved, so how many days are passed by and uh, divided by the number of issues. So you have a day. Now the below table gives you the overall uh, uh, information. So you can say that if I go to a last uh, row, I have right now 16 unresolved issues because current status is this only. And the age of all these 16 unresolved issues, sum total is 992. And that's how they divide it. And it comes as a 62 uh, a thing. You can see that these things are uh, from few days. I am not working on any issues. So it looks like from 25th to now, I always have a 16 opened issues only from last four days. And my average age is increasing because I'm not doing anything. I'm not resolving these issues. And that's why the, the day by day, the average age is increasing. So in general, you can see that this bar chart, if it is going towards the lower side, if that size of the bar is reducing, it means the average age of your opened issues are reducing. Now, here is a, a little glitch. We can't see this information without seeing the number of open issues. So for example, if I create five more issues today, the average age will reduce yeah, because these issues are new. Yeah. And the total number of issues will become, say, 21. 21 divided by the number of days if they are pending, this can reduce the average age. So I can reduce this average age without resolving the issue also, provide uh, because I am creating new issues. So in general, my recommendation is these average age reports can be seen with the help of number of open issues. So you can see that initially our average age was high because we had a lot of issues open and gradually we started closing them. And uh, there was a time where we only had 12 issues open, but all those issues were old issues. That's why the average is became 100. Then we created more issues and the average is average started going down. So my recommendation for you as a scrum master, project manager, whatever title you carry, analyze this data. Sometime your quality people may be excited about these averages. I wish if they could show us a line graph somewhere here to give us an indication of how many issues were unresolved every day. And we can see that correlations along with that, it could have made a little more interesting information rather than just showing the averages. But if you see that more or less we have a similar amount of issues open, then maybe you can use these averages. You can quickly look into the, the table below so that you get a feeling of it. In general, it's a good idea to go to a filter and really check the, the, the data from your issue uh, uh, log. Yeah? So you can go to your issues list and you can query the filter and match the numbers. And once you have a comfort, then you can use this average days report.